what is misogynistic to you? Okay, my understanding is some uh, masculine in its overbearing masculine. Okay. No, that that's what she actually thinks though. Like, yeah. I, th- I think people, people, modern feminists, that's what they actually think. They think misogyny is just being a man. It's masculinity. Mm-hmm. That they think that's the problem. Um, but it's a disdain for women. So misogyny is kind of like judging someone purely based on their gender in kind of an oppressive way. I think like saying things like you you can't. It's the this. hatred of women. Yeah, but the action of misogyny mm-hmm. is, is is kind of mm-hmm. like you can't you can't have this job because you're a woman. You know X Y Z. That's how it shows itself. Because we are raising up women to be men, and you are not applauded for your femininity. You are applauded in the contemporary society by how tough, rough, nasty, mean, aggressive, hateful, possessive you are and you are climbing the corporate ladder, but we are losing our families. Did you know that a baby's first words are much more likely to be dada rather than mama? This is because the majority of babies are sexist and hate women. Yes, I'm going to say it. Most women want masculine men. I can't speak for everybody, okay? Most women want a man who's a provider. Most women want to feel safe with a man. But women's anything like me, they're tired of being strong all the time. They want a man that they can depend upon. A man who's independent. A man who leaves his life well. And who's strong. And who's courageous. A man she can trust. Y'all, I'm indecisive. I want a man personally who can make decisions for me. <laughs> Most women want a man who is not as emotional as they are. Most women want a man who's stable. Most women want a man who's strong-minded. Most women want a man who's assertive. Most women want a man who is dominant. Most women want a man who is wise. I think when it all comes down to it, a lot of women are afraid of this kind of man. Maybe they've been hurt by this kind of guy. Maybe they've seen somebody else get hurt by this kind of guy and therefore prefer men to have more feminine traits. And that's okay. Do you think I'm a misogynist? The answers that you've given me so far from what you're saying it does sound inherently misogynistic. What now, did I say that was misogynistic? That with that a woman's main objective in life should be to find a man. Can you define misogyny for me? Specifically, actually, I have a. So you don't know. You, you have to look it up. No, I'm give, I want to give you like a clear, concise definition versus like something. Right, but means. if you can call me misogynistic, you should know what it means before looking it up. Okay, well, misogyny is an inherent. Um, distrust, inherent hatred, inherent um, bias against women. Where did I show hatred or bias towards women? So, what do you, when you say, and I'm trying to explain this to you in a way that, like, it's, it's a very, like you said, it's a broader, like you said, it's a general. I find myself wondering from time to time whose change in behavior would have the biggest or more significant impact in society, that of women or of men. It seems these days that the blind are leading the blind without guide dogs or canes for that matter. People are just following feelings on very important life-changing matters when reality is speaking a different truth. Traditions displayed on social media and movies portraying one-sided relationships has prevented women from getting to know their men. Women are courted, told that they are beautiful hundreds of times, told that they are special just the way that they are, and men just have to work to sweep them off their feet. That has stopped women from actually getting to know their men. Men and women need each other. That is simply how God designed men and women. We're supposed to balance each other out. There are qualities that women have that men do not have. Then there are qualities that men possesses that women do not possess. And together, when we put it together, it only makes sense. There's great things that men and women can accomplish together, but without compromise, with the spirit of competition, nothing can be done except tear apart families. Nothing can be accomplished together. For men and women to live peacefully together, there has to be compromise. This message is to women, so I'm going to give you a little game on something that you already know, right? This is nothing new. 
Men, we like to provide for you, we like to protect, and we like to guide and we like to lead. It's just the way it is, right? You can fight it all you want and say, well, I'm never submitting to a man, I'm never letting a man lead me, whatever, whatever you want to say, right? That is just the order of how we have been designed. Think about it. Women are emotional creatures. You're not designed emotionally so that you can lead. It only makes sense that a logical thinker is designed to lead. So listen, ladies, men will provide, they will protect you, and they will guide you. You just have to make room for that to happen. You have to allow a man to be a man, to do his job. That's his role. Stop being so caught up in your emotions, in your feelings, and you think that everything that men are trying to do is an action against you. Men and women have different roles and different approach to things, different ways of getting things done. Make room for understanding. Tone down the level of entitlement that modern women seem to have. Tone it down. It's okay to have a man correct you sometimes. And believe me, if you have a man that tells you he loves you and allows you to do whatever you want, dress however you want to dress and go to all the nightclubs and do all the things that you want to do, that man probably doesn't love you. Because if he does, he will want to protect you, he will want to guide you in the right direction so that your legacy or whatever you guys are trying to build is going forward. Think about it like this. If I'm married to you, right? You have my last name. You are a representative of me. The same, the same way. Like I, I, I have to behave with a certain code of conduct, and you have to also do the same. It's not demeaning to have control and order. It's just the way it is, and you have to understand your man. Ladies, go back to the drawing board and learn about men. Okay? Pace.